who is about to get underway. The lap is 1.64 miles long, it's 28 laps in total, the lights will go out now and he's blast off. Good start then from the inside of the front row by Gus Burton. And he leads as they dive into Cop's Corner for the first time, so Gus Burton jumps ahead of Will Martin. Adam Smalley goes third, Theo Edgerton fourth and Kean Jewis fifth. Perhaps just waiting to see what pans out on the run up towards Beckett for the first time. They will break, they'll turn into the hairpin. Oliver White and the other stuck in delivery car is on the attack on the inside line. Squeal of tyres, they turn into Beckett's. And out the other side, there's a spin. One end off the road, one goes wide. That's Adam Smalley rejoining. There was another spinner, which might have been Will Martin in actual fact. But as they come down towards us, yes, Will Martin has disappeared from that leading gaggle. So it goes from bad to worse as Kean Jewis gets up to second to chase Gus Burton. Well, something happened up there between Adam Smalley and Will Martin, and that could have big championship implications, certainly to the benefit of uh, Kean Jewis. Let's try and piece it together then. This is looking at the Beckett's exit. Will Martin goes around, Adam Smalley goes off in avoidance, but how Will Martin went around, that shot didn't really say. No, it was potentially contact on the way into the corner. Yeah. These cars take some stopping on cold tyres on the front, but uh, we don't know what happened exactly, but that's really hurt their, hurt their situation. Good, because it, it, seat time in these cars is so crucial to getting the most out of them. Jay Kiddings has been in and out of Carrera Cup GB and British GT almost alternating seasons, but uh, going nicely here. And this is all concertina for third, isn't it now? Edgerton ahead of Rainford, the Pro-Am leader there, looking at the blue and silver car. Behind him uh, is then Jake Giddings in the yellow and black and white livery, and sixth, Hugo Ellis, who's also new to the championship this year, and he's another driver, as you say, with the mileage that's got better and better and better. Yeah, definitely. And, and you know, people like Charles Rainford, definitely if they come back, be pro drivers next year, we could have a fantastic pro category, I think, next year, of drivers who have really developed. Don't forget, Adam Smalley will be in the second year as just taking a look up the inside of Theo Edgerton was Charles Rainford, the man I'm talking about. We could have a fantastic year. It'll be interesting to Ooh. see where one or two, like Keir Jewis, go next. Big slide out of Edgerton there, but he hangs on to his third place. Charles Rainford is about to come under attack, isn't he, now, from Jake Giddings. So Theo Edgerton, Thruxton winner, dropping off the back of the leading pair, demonstrably so. The lead gap is still only half a second. Through goes Josh Stanton. He is on target for his best finish of the season as the two race leaders for the 12th time head up towards Beckett's. Theo Edgerton under attack from Rainford for that third place overall now. Yeah, Edgerton definitely hasn't quite got the same pace he did in race one. I uh, wonder if he uh, didn't have uh, such a good set of tyres for this this second race, maybe a used set, um, having used ones. They turn into the left-hander. Look at the margin they've got over here. Third, Edgerton, fourth, Rainford, fifth is Hugo Ellis. He's not close enough to make a move. The leaders are nose to tail, coming out of Luffield, incidentally, heading up towards the timing line. And as they do so, this will be the end of lap 26. There they go, two laps to go. Burton it is, Jewish still on the lights, right with him. Yeah, I think you could spend too much time on the lights, mate, really. It's, uh, it's, uh, it could distract you more than it from concentrating on closing the gap than it distracts the guy in front. Five second penalty for the race leader. Gus Burton is being given a five second penalty for track limit offences. So he's had times disallowed and now a five second penalty for Gus Burton. Kean Dewis is going to win the race without needing to overtake. Gus Burton isn't going to be able to pull out five seconds. He's not going to be able to pull out five tenths in the remaining space of the race. And so Gus Burton for track limit offences is going to lose the race to Kean Dewis behind him. Well, we've seen that already this year, um, results being changed as a result of track limits, and it's it's hard to accept, you know, Gus Burton's driven a very good race, he's going to end up second because they're 10 seconds ahead of um, uh, Theo Edgerton, so he'll still he'll end up second, but not a way to lose a race win, really not. Well, he certainly had two track limit offences. He may have had more because it's a scrolling page on our screen and I can only count quickly two of them. Others may have uh, fallen off the, the, the scroll. But either way, Gus Burton, who was led all the way, is going to have the win denied him because of track limit abuses. He's going to be second, but so what? Because he wants to be the winner and uh, if he's got the information, then he'll be very, very disappointed about it. Uh, there's no way in a couple of corners he's going to be able to pull out the margin over Kean Dewis. So Kean Dewis in second place, never able to find a way through, but it's going to inherit the race win. 
and what has been a really good race between these two, sadly, is going to have a slightly distorted result as Gus Burton takes the chequered flag. And on correcting times, Kian Dewis wins round 14 of Porsche Carrera Cup GB. And it's a very happy Team Parker Racing squad that have got the information off the timing screen. Uh, so that's Theo Edgerton coming through on the road for third. Does